Hi, I'm Donald Sinclair. I'm a science teacher with Great Hall and the Tutors, and today we're going to be looking at a few topics in chemistry. This is how to write chemical formulae. When writing chemical formulae, the key thing to remember is the valency of the components of the molecule. For example, aluminium oxide. Aluminium, which we can see from the periodic table, has a valency of 3, as it's in group 3. This means that an aluminium ion has a charge of plus 3. Oxygen is in group 6, which means it has a, it has a valency of 2. So an oxide ion has a charge of minus 2. This means if they make a molecule which is electrically neutral, you're going to have to have three oxygens to give a charge of minus six, combining with two aluminiums for a charge of plus six. So when we write aluminium oxide, we simply swap these numbers around to give Al2O3 for aluminium oxide. Where possible, you can cancel. For example, aluminium phosphide. Aluminium, as we've just seen, has a valency of three. Phosphorus, which is in group five, has a valency of 3 as well. This means that you can write aluminium phosphide as Al3P3, but these threes can cancel to give the simpler ALP for aluminium phosphide. Some molecules contain groups which are not elements. The four most commonly seen ones are hydroxide and nitrate, which have a valency of 1, and carbonate and sulfate, which have valencies of two. So for example, calcium carbonate, calcium has a valency of two being in group two, and carbonate has a valency of two as well, which means calcium carbonate is just written CaCO3. But something like aluminium sulfate, Aluminium has a valency of 3 and sulfate has a uh, valency of 2. This means it's written Al2 and the sulfate is written with a 3 after it. However, to show it's all one group, it's written in brackets. So we end up with Al2SO43, which is aluminium sulfate. 